Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video Capricorn, so this is going to be your uh, monthly reading for the month of April 2022nd. And uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel, guys, make sure you do subscribe for it, hit the notification bell, give a like uh, so you do not miss any of our uploads and as well uh, live streams. So, with that said, let me finish the shuffle and uh, see what kind of uh, month you are going to have for April 2022nd one more time. So the first card, which is quite promising, we do have the two of wands here, followed by uh, the second one, which stands as the ten of uh, ten of wands. Moving next, we do have the three of wands and the final prime card of your spread. That is going to be justice. So let's check on what kind of a uh, secondary cards you're going to have. So we do have the 
nine of wands here add to the two of wands followed by the chariot to the ten of wands and i do believe that that is very much in your nature uh, followed by the eight of cups to the three of wands and the final one here is going to be the lovers to the justice woohoo so that is uh, primarily career oriented uh, reading here we see a uh, very few emotional stages into the month which by the way you will be able to address with actions so that kind of speaks about a um that kind of speaks about a job it speaks about a goals and aims that you do have and the topic of the mood is exactly that uh with these two cards what these cards speaks of it is that throughout this month of april you will be able to make a huge and i mean huge accomplishments either into your love life or either into your career and even if it is into your love life uh, they are going to be deprived of any emotion on, in, emotional tantrum. It is because, as we do have the nine of wands here, okay, you will be able to, oh my God, how do I pull it? Um, you will be able to adjust the situation the way you like it. The, the nine of wands to the two of wands, it is when you are so far ahead in front of the other person or in front of the job that you get to decide what kind of a circumstances you are going to have into dating or what kind of a circumstances you are going to have into uh, into the job and so on and so forth and based on these readjustments because we do have readjustments here based on them you will define how the the job or or how the romantic incentive is going to move forward i am saying that it is primarily about the job i want to backtrack a little bit because now looking at the nine of wands um in some of my live streams i am explaining the nine of wands there in another deck that you do have which is the thought tarot that is the other uh, how can i put it into words the other branch of tarot but the nine of wands truly does speak that you can connect with somebody on a romantic incentive here okay i'm not gonna dive into why that's the case <clears throat> but take it like that it is a card showing that you can connect with somebody and it is because it's a catalyst to the two of wands this is not going to be just in any kind of random connection where you can be very disappointed in the future by the other person moves or or talks you know and, and so on and so forth these two cards here speaks that when you sign up for it you will be very aware what to expect and that we can see here into the third position as well but i'm going to get into it in a few minutes for now what we can say that the topic of this month for you is to grow to grow on your own terms or to grow by the rules you define career wise and relationship wise and um, those of you who doesn't see it you are about to you are to see at the very first stage of the month that you actually have a quite of a good accomplishments accomplishments that can be expand on accomplishments that you can develop even further and you have to you just have to readjust some uh some aspects of the situation in a way that is going to allow you to uh, uh to move forward in a much easier how can i put it into words in a much easier state than the state you're doing right now we can see that into the second position in these cards they don't have much of an interpretation aside from that what really is going to slow you down throughout the month it is that you are making things harder than they need to be okay and some aspects more important than they actually are for example you are dating somebody they tell you something you know that they don't put much of a thought and sense into it but you are taking it like this is the end of the world okay pretty much pretty big example of it it is that if somebody uh tells you that they cannot date with you at this uh, very same day you want and you kind of like uh understand it like they don't want to date you at all which is which is literally not the case so here with these cards how to overcome what is gonna slow you down and what is gonna hold you back is if you don't take it way too personally it's just take it like if things doesn't happen the easy way around maybe that's not the time where they should happen because with these two cards 
what you accomplish when you struggle or rather like when you what what you accomplish when you push it well you can you can pretty much answer yourself about that i'm not going to because it's an unpleasant word so to speak and uh, also what these two cards here are, are speaking it is that you can accomplish results far easier than your uh, original plans okay so uh, in the very first initial stage of the month just try to take it a little bit easier on yourself trying with sophisticated plans all right and and with very complex maneuvers it's not gonna it's gonna pay off results but the same results that you could have accomplished if you kind of like took it a bit easier on you on the situation on your children family and so on and so forth uh what truly though is going to help you it is uh, we can see with these two cards okay the three of uh, ones with the eight of cups these two cards and uh, what they show are a few things now first and foremost the most important thing is that did it the best you could uh, or rather like the situation you're finding yourself into is its best version whatsoever i mean literally you could not done it better than that and if it is unsatisfiable at that point okay just know that you you couldn't have it any other way around no matter how well you performed into it okay but that situation could develop in a good way okay Th that is if you do continue on not exactly pushing but developing it into that direction whether it is a business whether it is a romantic incentive why is that well because with the three of with the three of ones here to the eight of cups these cards speaks that you are now Mm, how can i put it into words settle on it you have settled on it and uh, it is just the patterns that uh that, that this project or the job or relationship is gonna have they are gonna bend entirely on your rules and your expectations therefore you can have it the way you want it okay it's, it's just that that's what the cards are speaking and uh, also they do speak that now it's a time that you do ask for a little bit more uh, or you can go and ask for a little bit more for example a little bit more payment for example a little bit more appreciation for example a little bit better position and so on and so forth now this thing is going to come with with its own uh, expectations towards you nothing you cannot handle though this is just it's nothing that you cannot handle and the results of uh, the result of all that that we do have here it is by the end of the month where we do have the justice and the lovers and they also say only one thing that you are going to end up the month in harmony it is just when you look back you see how much you have accomplished how much you have you you could have developed is going to bring you to a a moment of of um I don't know how to put it into words of emotional satisfaction not just only emotional satisfaction but as well content and it's just you are going to be so harmonious with the life you are able to set for yourself additionally to it those two cards speaks that you are going to resolve problems or rather like problems uh, their concerns let's not call them problems concerns that you have anticipated concerns that you are worried about that they can appear in the future they are simply going to relinquish themselves from your life they, they are just going to disappear they will it's like they never been there it, it, they, they are going to start resolving themselves on their own accord in front of your uh, pretty much a very very eyes um now i know that you can see the the lover's card being interpreted as a big love you know that that's not impossible but that's not the core of the card the core of the card it is being harmonious with your choices for the lovers the, its original name was the choice uh, somebody named it the lovers afterwards but it's not somebody but yeah somebody named it the lovers but uh, to a correlation to the justice card, should it happen that you are to connect with somebody, those two cards are testament that you are going to be very physically appealing to one another. They're not talking about beauty. It is just what your uh, face is, what your body is, the way you talk, the way you not talk, but the way you walk. All right, the way you uh, the, your gestures and, and so on and so forth are going to be uh, 
kind of like completely within the framework of the expectation of your suitor and vice versa as well so the the relationship may start on a physical connection more than on a emotional connection and that actually is something good because with these two cards should it happen on emotional connection they speak that actually it's a little bit premature okay just a little bit premature not just it's not going to happen but with time you may end up being disappointed of a certain aspects of that person in the physical world things they do you know th uh, the way they act upon stuff and and so on and uh, so forth and finally with the end of the month here uh, capricorn um you will how can I put it into words? When you look back, you're just going to see that you have made all of the right choices. It's just there is no other way to, to look at it here. And from there on moving forward, you're going to have that astute discernment and accountability to continue on doing and making the right choices. And finally, if you take these cards literally here, somebody is going to get what they deserve, whether bitter, whether sweet. So with that said, this was your uh, monthly title reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we are to see each other hopefully another time. Until then, bye.